Seeing the ugliness, whatever form it takes, malice, misery, aggression, negativity, constantly defeating the happiness of the people around me, and seeing how much useless misery is born in the world and how much useful happiness is wasted, I grabbed in my hand the most eager why I could find and started writing, in the chance that I can defeat ugliness by explaining it. I wanted to understand how we've become so good at being sad, how we've become so good at not only abandoning the beauty of our soul, but asking its ugliness to show the world around us who we are. Every time I struggled with the question of who gives birth to my misery, I stumbled upon my own weaknesses. By writing for others, I learned myself. Nothing is accidental. Not even anything that seems to happen by accident. It's no coincidence that there's so much sadness in the world. It exists because, by choosing to do what's easy and not what's right, we don't try to learn our weaknesses as well as we should to prevent them from producing misery or magnifying the misery someone else's weaknesses have produced. The more I wrote, the more I realised the value of the truth we should tell ourselves in achieving our happiness. Maybe it's time to say no to the lies we tell ourselves and finally tell the truth. This way we'll build self-knowledge, become as self-sufficient as we need to disarm our weaknesses and become happy. Every time we tell the truth to ourselves, we create self-knowledge. And every time we lie, we tear it down. We all want to be happy, but we aren't willing to do everything needed to deserve our happiness. Happiness is the disarming of misery. How can we feel happy, though, when we aren't willing to defend our happiness from the onslaught of the ugliness of the world around us? How can we want to live a happy life when we fill it with ugliness? That's what we need to change. Kalilo. Create a life you can fall in love with. However, the more we praise change, the more we remain the same. Because we know that change often has more truth in it than we can bear. That's why we love to hide in the routine so much. Life doesn't come with an instruction book. We have to write it ourselves, one mistake at a time. Self-knowledge is the mother of happiness. When we get to know ourselves, we'll feel as strong as we need to be to disarm our weaknesses and therefore be able to create beauty by neutralising the ugliness within us and the ugliness around us. In this way, we'll be able to change our lives for the better. When we learn ourselves well enough to disarm our weaknesses, we'll allow our strengths to make us as successful and happy as they can. We'll therefore create a life that has as little ugliness as possible. A life that has so much beauty that we'll want to fall in love with it. Let's tell ourselves the truth in order to drive away the ugliness we have been producing for so many years with our lies. The lies we tell ourselves create ugliness, which in turn leads to misery. On the contrary, truth creates beauty that leads to happiness. We all have beauty in our souls as long as we aren't afraid of the truth from which it's made. Let's live by translating the beauty of our soul into happiness, and not by translating its ugliness into the pain and misery of the people around us. We'll then be able to create a world that is as real as it needs to be to feel so beautiful that it overflows with happiness.